my fellow comic book collectors. Today is going to be a really great video. Um, hopefully, I'm just hoping, 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 hoping that I chose well. I can see the, I had like a little crystal ball that I could see the future and that I picked spec comics that were really good. So about a year ago, we recorded a video where we were looking at six comics each, like, uh, and we projected are these, these are the ones that we said are, these are the ones you gotta buy, you gotta, you gotta trust us. We know what we're talking about. You gotta buy these comics. So I'm just hoping, I, I don't know yet. This is gonna be, you know, a reveal for me as well. I just hope that I chose well. And I hope Mark failed, but um, but at least I hope I chose well and gave you guys the best specs to, to buy for 2022. Did I? We're gonna find out right now. So Mark, how did we do? Well, <laughs> before we go into this, let's just say we had a difficult task because uh, the market has been heading downwards ever since December last year when we put these specs together. So, just, so are you saying that we killed the market? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> could be. Could be. <laughs> so um, let's see how we did. I need to share my screen. So at the top, so your first pick was Pokemon, the Electric Tales of Pikachu, one to four in a sealed bag. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the price was 30 to $50. Now this is current eBay. Okay. Uh, see, there's a few of these packs here. One at 41 pounds, one at 33 pounds. So I think you get a same price, not moved. So it didn't move much. It's I almost feel like picking some more of them up since it's such a great price. I still think it's undervalued. <laughs> so I don't think you've gone down uh, and you haven't okay. gone up. It's sort of okay. same place. Okay. So, I mean, in, in a downward market, that that shows that I had real insight to know what a safe investment to park your money in. Pikachu was all the way. You got to park your money in Pikachu. That's what I was saying. That's. I wasn't saying you're going to make millions on it. I was saying you're going to, this is a good place to put your money. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you could have put it in the bank and it would be worth the same amount as well. So it's not that brilliant an investment. Uh, <laughs> so would you, do you think this is still a good uh, buy, Alan? I actually, like, I don't know how many of these sealed packs there are. I mean, seeing all these listings at the time when I, uh, when I said this, uh, I picked up my pack for 20 bucks. So I was basing it on 20 bucks. Um, and I uh, didn't see other listings. I didn't see many listings at the time. And I think what's happened is it looks like a lot of new, new sellers came onto the market and it sort of, you know, maybe brought the price down or, well, actually it's still twice as much as what I was saying. But, um, uh, you know, it depends on how many of these packs are out there. I don't really know. No, I think there are quite a few out there. I have looked at this once or twice this year, and, and I think there's quite a few. Uh, uh, okay. I don't think it's a hugely rare item. But Yeah, and then that, that means that it's not a great spec. Yeah. Because I was basing it based on what I could see. You know, like at the time, it was there were there just wasn't many on the market. Yeah. Um, so, oh well. so I think... Uh, evens you can have a you can have a flat okay so that'll give me a zero not plus or minus <laughs> zero. Yeah. okay so my first pick was justice league europe 33 oh okay which has got the um sonic the hedgehog promotional pullout in it mm -hmm. yeah. now at the time this was um seven pounds you could pay for this and it i have to say i look as if to me as if i've done a strike here as well so this is current uk ebay and you can still buy this for seven pounds yeah so what's weird is like i was the one that kind of told you about this one yeah but i bought it when you told me about it it was uh one pound fifty uh yeah so i bought about eight copies at one pound fifty so actually i've done quite well on it you've done well um i still think this is a pretty good buy um mm -hmm. you know uh somebody here is trying to flog a, a 9.8 graded for 95 pounds that's not too bad actually yeah 
so um yeah i i think i think we're about even on this one alan i don't think we've uh, gone up i don't think we've gone down um which you know as we said descending market we you nobody's lost any money if they followed our advice <laughs> thank goodness yeah. and had they bought it when we bought it like i like as i said i picked up the pikachu one for 20 bucks uh, you picked it up for a dollar 50. had they bought it when we bought they would probably would have been you know better off <laughs> Yeah. Okay. However, I hope you did not follow Alan's advice on his. Uh -oh. Okay. Alan's next pick was Gen. It was Wildcats trilogy one, the first appearance of Gen thirteen. Okay. Well, yeah. That that's okay. So that's me just liking that book. Uh, or is this no? This is um. There it is. No, it's that tab. Yeah. 99 pence <laughs> you know the funny thing is I think I paid a dollar for my copy too so, yeah uh, um I'm afraid though that is less than it was this time last year oh really was it even cheaper uh, it, it was, was cheaper now than four, it was back then wow it was about three or four pounds so being able to buy it for 99 pence I'm afraid Alan that uh, you have to you, you, you get a you get That's a, a negative this one has gone down um do you think it's still a good buy do you think i should buy this one here at 99 pence with one yeah i mean it's it, you know the reason i bought it and the reason i like it as a spec is um gen 13 does have like a almost like cult following and um like i like it like uh and if they ever redo something with these characters this is one of those books that will go up you know so it's one that you know, I recommend just having like, you know, at a dollar investment, <laughs> you know, it's not a bad one to have. You know what I mean? I know, but if I'd invested my three dollars last year, uh, my my capital has devalued quite significantly. Okay, but my point is, my point is, you know, uh, you if you if you buy it, like, you know, maximum you you spend like, you know, ten bucks, you buy three copies of it. You know, you can probably flip it for anywhere from four to five bucks you know you're going to make a little bit of money on it it's not going to be again these books were printed in huge numbers yeah I mean, it's not going to be like a million dollar book ever um but it is a cool book and it's a fun one to have in the collection yeah i might that'd be, that that'd be my that'd be my story on it. buy that one at 99 pence i mean what am i going to lose R right <laughs> okay uh my next pick was what the Christmas special um and at the time um it was uh ten dollars I think I've had a win here <laughs> so this is for those of you who are, those of you who are unaware this is the first appearance of Bart Simpson mm -hmm. in comics okay it's also the second appearance of um, Marvel Santa. <laughs> and it's his first cover appearance on the front. It's of the cover. First, yes, it's his first cover appearance of Marvel Santa. So, uh, yeah, this was around offering around uh, 10 to $15 when we, did, when we did this last year. I think this count, there's a couple of raw copies here, one at $16.00. And one at eighteen dollars. So I think I'm claiming a I'm claiming a success here. I'd say yeah, this is a win for you. Like you know, it, it, you know, if it went from ten dollars to sixteen dollars, I think that's a that's a win. Yeah, and look here, there's a nine point eight, and they're selling for one hundred and eighty. So, um... but I I actually think that this is a one that would be hard to find in that nine eight. Actually, no, I not one people would say. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I think this is uh, this is a nice nice comic to have. Um, yeah, I'm going to count that as a win. So I'm one up, and you're one down. One down. <laughs> oh, oh well. Right. Okay. Um, My last pick. What was it? Your last pick, and I've had to. I've gone to uh, go collect for this one. Your last pick was Warlock Fifteen. Cool the first cover appearance of Gamora. Oh, Gamora. Oh, yes. Okay. Now then, um, let me... This one's probably tanked. It's... I think you're about okay, actually. Okay. Um, 
in a minute when we're doing. Why is this not working? You gotta drag it down a bit. There we go. Right, yeah, there we go. so I don't think you've done too badly. So I reckon this is about even from, so if you go to January 20, um, if you go to November, November 2021, 131, and it's just, one's just sold for 180. So I think you've done well, a Yeah, I went up actually, this is a win for me, I would I'm going to give you an up on this one. Yeah. I'm happy that I win for <laughs> Although if we'd done it from Jack February, you'd have had a loss. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm happy to give you a win. I think that's pretty good spec. I think you did a good one there. Yeah, I think actually it has room to grow as well. Um, because, you know, once Gamora is... They, they said the next Guardians of the Galaxy is going to focus more on Gamora and uh, Nebula. Yeah. So, um, you know, it has a bit of room to grow. I, I wouldn't say it's going to be like a million dollar book again. But it is definitely one that has a little room to grow, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think you can count that as a success. Yeah. Uh, my third pick was Marvel Age. Oh, uh, nice. 98. Okay. Um, this was a hot book, actually, back then. It was quite hot. Um, however, as you can see, you can pick up a copy here for 20 quid. 20 bucks. Which is, I think that's a bit lower than when I suggested it. Uh, yeah, I think I, I picked it up back when we were talking about it like a year ago. I think I paid 30 or 40 bucks for it. Yeah, um, it was 25 there. So I'm afraid I think this is a down for me, slightly, so, not huge. Uh, yeah. We're sort of both breaking even here. Yeah, so um, I think that's slightly down for me. Because that 20 quid is definitely lower than it was this time last year. But you know what's funny? I think this is actually a good spec still. I know, because the movie hasn't come out. Now, that we, yeah. we the movie was slated for coming out in 2022, and it hasn't. Yeah. Um, so that's probably what, and, and I don't know when it is slated to come out, whether, you know, whether yeah. it's shelved or what, I don't know. Yeah, so what I've seen is the following, like, you know, a book, they, they get some announcement, right, that, oh, uh, you know, they're going to make a, a movie, uh, The Toxic Avenger, and, you know, everybody jumps onto the book, goes up, and then six months, they're in production, <laughs> you know, they're in that production thing, nothing comes out, people forget about the book, and it just drops. And then then a trailer comes out, and all of a sudden, oh, everybody's excited again. Yeah, I think I've been unlucky with this one. Yeah, so, this is sort of like you... If a trailer comes out next trade. week for this, to you know, hitting the cinemas in February, that would be... Yeah. yeah, so it's just, I think it's bad timing on this one. Yeah, so um, I still think that's a, that's potentially a good buy there at 20 quid. For, mm -hmm. So just to be clear, this is the first appearance of the Toxic Avenger in comics. This appeared... Okay. Disappeared before. If you can get a nine eight slab of this for cheap. Yeah, this might be the time to buy it. If you, like, I always like buying when things drop. Um, you know, if I believe in the book, like if that Pikachu, you know, I would buy it because it's it's a. I think it's at a good price. Uh, this to me, twenty bucks for this book. You know, it's it is like a nostalgic book. It's a cool book. Hey, it's, it seems like a pretty no brainer to me. I don't know. Yeah. And I don't think it's like one that there's a lot of copies of. Like, no, Marvel Age wasn't heavily printed. Yeah. So I mean it's it's I think it's a good one. Well, you can see there's not hundreds of copies here, are there? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't see many copies there actually. There's one, two. But well, I don't even see any slabs. Like I don't know what the census would look like for this book. No, don't know. Right, so there we go. Those were our six spec books which we did on your channel. Um, I think we're about even after that. We've both had an up. We, we both, both had down. Yes. We both down. had a flat. Yeah. So, um, okay, so that was cool. So how do we do in the second part? We got three more specs each, and we're going to check it out on Mark's channel, and we'll find out who is the, the, the I don't know, Sorcerer okay. Supreme, I don't know, um, who is the best spec person between Mark and I, who should you listen to? Probably me, but um, we're going to have to find out on Mark's channel. Well, make your own minds up, people, because next week we will be doing our spec list for 2023. 
So okay. um, based on our performance here, um, I wouldn't necessarily invest too heavily. <laughs> Yeah, well, it might not be the about... five. It go and check the uh, how we did on our second six because that might change your mind. Yeah. So okay. So go over to Mark's channel and uh, let's uh, see you later. Bye.